So my essential question is, what are the positive impacts of hip hop? Um, the positive impacts of hip hop are what good things hip hop has done for people. Um, hip, -hop, hip hop has influenced the culture and um, has came from a place where stars were born to live in New York. And um, so the great things that came out of hip hop as far as entrepreneurship, fashion, um, hip hop archives, who um, spread awareness to um, students who want to get involved in this genre. And um, I hope that through my presentation, I will bring the negative stigma that comes to All right, so here, um, hip hop is a genre that gives people who grow up in places that felt unheard and not cared for the voice. And um, songs in hip hop are spoken from personal experiences. So the five elements of hip hop are b boying MC, I mean DJ, MC, graffiti, and um, knowledge. So um, on a stinging August night in 1973, um, DJ Kubrick and his sister had to go back to school jam party in the West Bronx, and that's where hip hop originally started. Through the influences of Grandmaster Flash and African Nevada, they have started the um, genre of hip hop. From from them starting it, um, MCs like W Fresh have came out of it. Group Run DMC and Grandmaster Flash and Experience by, um, are the pioneers of hip hop. Hip hop means educational values. Speaking the kids' language. If teachers bring um, hip hop into the classroom, it will have a great impact on children. So speaking the kids' language, um, as a study in relation to the youth. Um, it's important not to only the art, but also the history of hip-hop. And hip-hop and education is a powerful way to teach students the skills they need to help themselves at school and at home. And teachers can become more comfortable with students and um, getting students engaged into their fellowship. Mutual respect. Hip-hop in the classroom is an action that has a huge effect for what students receive from teachers. They can see them researching in the same world that kids are involved in, and kids will not um, fear but walk more into it as far as the subject matter in the classroom. Positive behavior and attitudes. Um, to, um, a teacher using, for example, a verse in the classroom to learn the quadratic formula or making a diss track in relation to Romeo and Juliet will help students to feel more comfortable within um, the classroom and um, overcoming fears. Hip hop, is an edu um, hip hop education is a chance to engage students not only in their classroom but in their own lives and you know, teaching them that it's a proper message to overcome their fears. Also too, Nasir Jones, known as Nas, has um, created an archive at Harvard University so college students can get more involved in the course of Hip hop has taken over the fashion world and um, has influenced society, um, and big brands have recognized that. So, through artists, they help to um, market to target to target groups about um, what's coming up and what's in the fashion world. So, right here, um, Cardi B is sponsored by Fashion Nova, and she has her own line. Right here, J. Cole, he um, sponsors his own brand, which is Dreamville, and um, Kendrick Lamar is going to fear of God. Tiana Taylor Music Act is sponsoring um, Blue Team's new music um, makeup line, which is um, partnered with Milk no Play. And Remy Ma is sponsored by Versace, that's, why she, that's what she's wearing at the top. Hip hop and its revenue. Many years ago, huge record companies used to count hip hop out. Now, the longevity that hip hop has came for, um, it generates now 10 billion per year and the new musical roots are transformed in a dominant, exclusively like a luxurious lifestyle. Along with that, we have Mogul's P. Biddy, who is worth over $880 million, and his investments include himself and his Ciroc brand. Beyonce, who is worth over $400 million in her investments, and herself, which is um, Ivy Park. Jay-Z is worth over $890 million in his investments in the Sean Carter Foundation. Rihanna is worth over $300 million in her Fenty Beauty line and her Fenty X. Nazir is, um, is, um, is worth over $100 million in his investments in Amazon. And Imanaj is worth over $100 million in her investments in Messenger apps.
as much as rappers and hip hop entrepreneurs like to um, make money, they also like to give back money into their local neighborhoods. So through here, Chance the Rapper had donated over a million into Chicago public schools and furthering um, young kids' education. Queen Latifah has donated over a million to the Boys and Girls Club, assisting with educational funding and help and home funding. J. Cole, um, through his Dreamville Foundation, helps his community by raising money for Dreamville Festival. It goes to over three hundred thousand dollars. And Akon has provided um, the country of Malai um, over six hundred million Malayans and other different um, in, um, groups. Um, in the country of Africa, like activism and hip hop. Usually, hip hop, when it comes to activism, artists have put their stands on social um, topics in their music. So, in this age, for example, Eminem has put his political stands in movement with um, backing people in his BET cipher. Meek Mill has went through a public case, so he, um, at his activism is more um, focused toward um, prison reform. And Janelle Monet um, focuses on women empowerment and um, making women feel more comfortable in their sexuality and their body. In conclusion, I hope that you have gathered from my presentation that hip hop does have some great deeds. As this genre evolves, it continues to expand in so many different places. There is usually a negative stimulation that comes from what hip hop does for the culture, and I hope that you. Um, if you have those thoughts for the genre, that you start to like it and see the great things that come out of it. Okay, so, you this video of the screen, I think. Well, I don't have it. Sorry, guys. John, just explain to us what, what the video was about. Oh, it, it, was it really seen. was a funny moment. It was a it, 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 okay. <laughs> So it's just kind of like a way to end yeah. the presentation? Yeah, but, um, there's no side of side. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I, I like that you're wearing the bad boy yeah. t-shirt to go with the old school hip hop. I noticed that. that. I did recognize oh, it. Bad boy <laughs> entertainment. Like, I grew up in this, so a lot of this was in my era, but does anybody have any questions? in the audience for Zanae about hip hop or so um I'll, I'll just ask the question of like why did you select this topic um I grew up in like a hip hop generation and you know coming from a place where like I heard this all the time and coming to a school like this and, and I hear all the time like they like, shocked after so I you know go a little deeper in what the pop does and how it's helped the culture and just sometimes hearing adults like having a negative saying on hip hop so mm -hmm. I just want to bring like the good to like yeah and and I think that's important because I feel like too like the media will spin stuff to give yeah. it like that negative effect and it's nice to see the positive impact so I don't know how many people in the audience, like as she was going through some of the slides, like, you know, with the impact they have on activism um, or different clothing lines, like were a lot of you aware of some of the stuff yeah. that some of these artists are doing? Because you're seeing on social media? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's interesting. Um, thank you very much. Nice job.